right y'all what is up man we are back here with another video and this is going to be my first video on my new computer you guys i finally got all the pieces for it over the weekend i did take some time to put it together obviously download all the softwares i need like editing recording software stuff like that but yeah you guys i am now on the new pc we shouldn't knock on wood we shouldn't have any more issues with my face cam and all that kind of stuff this computer it did cost me a good amount of money so yeah you guys i just basically wanted to make sure that whenever i make videos we don't run into any issues my last pc was pretty much the bare minimum that i could have had in order to get videos out to you guys but now this thing is really strong it's really powerful so we shouldn't have any more issues going forward and yeah you guys today we are back here with some new reward cards in the token market or the reward market whatever it's called some new token players now as you guys know i've i haven't completed all the pink diamonds so i do still need to pick some up and i've been looking at this pink diamond patrick ewing i feel like this is a card that i do want to get like i said 645 tokens i do have enough to pick them up so we might as well pick them up for some gameplay today so bam right there we are going to pick up this new pink diamond patrick ewing right here i'm really excited to get some gameplay on this card because he did have a really good diamond early on in the year he was one of the better setters for a while but now we do have a pink diamond version of him in the game now and jumping over to our squad there he is at that starting center position i'm gonna check out his stats i just want to say real quick if you guys haven't decided to hit that sub button yet we are on the road to 30,000 subs so go and take a quick second do that and also definitely do drop a like on this video for us just being back we got ourselves a new pc we shouldn't have any issues moving forward but bam checking out this pink diamond patrick ewing standing at seven feet tall he's come with a 99 offense and that 99 defensive overall he has a 92 driving layup with a 98 post fade 97 hook shot you guys already know his post work is going to be really nice 91 draw foul 97 mid-range and even an 84 open shot three so you guys throw a shoe on him he is going to be knocked down out there going with the 86 free throw as well that's actually pretty solid for a center 98 standing 90 driving with a 90 contact dunk so hopefully we can get some dunk animations maybe get some posters out there as well also come with that 98 block 98 shot contest only a 68 steal but the block rating is going to be really nice for a center also rebounding 97 straight across and he does have an 86 speed only 59 speed with ball but then he has a 95 vertical which would be nice for rebounding 69 lateral quickness obviously could be better but once again this card's really tall so it shouldn't matter too much and then he is coming with those 12 hall of fame badges brick wall bruiser also has rim protector let's see hustle rebounder pick and popper drop stepper up and earn specialist post spin technician relentless finisher and some other ones so yeah you guys those 12 hall of fame badges looking really nice right there but yeah bro we're back on this my team grinded day we got this new pink diamond patrick ewing i really want to see what exactly this car can do i'm sure some of you guys are curious as well so we're just going to hop into the gameplay see how he does man ralph sansom going to be matched up against patrick ewing for this game that's a really big center right there we're going to see if we can move him down low today and all right man tip ball time i know there were also three galaxy opals that did release today in the token market as well you guys know i'm not at that level yet but if any of y'all pick up one of those galaxy opals you want to see me get some gameplay with them definitely hit me up on twitter it'd be dope to try one of those cards if you guys do decide to pick one of them up so i could bring y'all some gameplay but but you guys can see patrick Ewing picking up his first rebound we're gonna get the ball right into him yo speed with ball actually doesn't feel that bad we're gonna drop step on harden right there i don't know how that contest didn't register i guess it did but he was still able to knock it down right there so patrick ewing coming out obviously bro i'm gonna go to that drop stepper a lot like hall of fame drop stepper especially if we can get his takeover badges i'm assuming one of them is going to be post score there we go oh my god patrick ewing coming up with the steal right there i really want to take that in but he's not even up the court yet okay and all right after launching the ball backcourt we're just going to try to play some smart basketball from here on out let's get patrick ewing in a post up come on go on a post up ralph sampson that's a big body down low so we're gonna see if we can move him maybe get some post phase there we go okay looks like he is gonna on ball us fake the post spin that way look at all that space that we just created on that post fade bro whenever they create so much space especially being seven feet tall pretty much impossible to get a contest on that right there and i i'm sure some of you guys are wondering if you want to pick up this card from the token market if he's worth the token so we're going to be going to a lot of his moves see what these animations are looking like there we go that's a good contest dang bill russell taking the rebound from patrick that's okay he was still in good uh, position right there let me fake the post fade again and yep that's going to be a draw foul so checking out his free throws right here patrick ewing a little bit quicker than i was expecting honestly i thought he had a slower release than that because i know his jump shot is pretty slow so one or two at the line 86 overall rating trying to get to the rim this guy's got some really good players he's just not taking the best shots right now as katie takes that contested mid-range jumper we're gonna go right back to the post though i probably want to check out his hook shot this time so 
Patrick Ewing fading the opposite way. I was hoping he was going to go over that shoulder right there. We just bank it straight off the glass. That was a good animation too. I love that animation when they create some space because some centers just have a horrible hook shot. It's like not even worth going to. So right there, you guys can see Patrick Ewing's second rebound as well. Come on, run the floor for me. Let me see if I can get, oh my God. Yeah, that release is so slow. Probably could have put limitless range on him for this gameplay. There we go. We got him jumping. Let's just go straight to the rim. The speed with ball on this card is fine. Once you hop in the post, you can get like some little speed bursts out of the post and stuff like that. So I wouldn't be too worried about his speed with ball. And all right, so that game does end in a quick rage quit. We were putting in some work with Patrick Ewing right there. I don't know. I guess he decided that he didn't want to go up against that all game. So we're going to have to find ourselves a second game right here. And our second matchup of the day, Diamond Pau Gasol down low. Not the most overpowered defensive player. So Patrick Ewing, we might be able to get off in this game again. And first possession out the gates, he's going to hit Pau Gasol going straight to the rim off of the tip ball. Man, a moving shot right there, bro. If Patrick Ewing is really hitting consistent moving shots, I doubt it. But we're able to knock that deep two down right there. Honestly, the release wasn't too bad. And okay, he's going to pull up with Harden. That was a nice quick move right there and there we go patrick ewing running the floor for us again look at this speed on patrick ewing going all the way to the rim with a strong finish give me that steal as well there we go oh my bro are we really not going to pick that up in this position now we're just going to get patrick ewing right back in the post see if we can get these takeover badges this game we're going to have to go on a little bit of a run with him. There we go. We're going to post fade. Honestly, some really good defense for Pau Gasol right there. But we are going to set up in the corner, bro. That release is so slow. It's just a little bit early on it. Yeah, man. Starting off this game, our post fade really isn't working for us. I see him running in transition, though. Bro, look at Bill Russell pushing up the ball. We're going to post spin off Ralph right here. There we go. Look at the little hop step. And please finish that one off. Great finish. Eight points in this first quarter. Let's get him out of the game. So... We don't tire him out too much. And in the second quarter now, we got Patrick Ewing a quick rest, but back out there on the floor. It right, looks like now we have Anthony Davis on him. So we're going to see if we can post fade. There we go. Opposite shoulder. Starting out with a quick green light. As long as we get the space, man, the release is looking really nice. So, man, what are we up to? 10 points on the ball game now. We're going to see if we can play some defense on this possession. There we go. Magic Johnson, let's clamp him up no way okay i was about to say there's no way that that goes uncontested Let's see if we can hit patrick ewing right here that was a risky pass but we'll take it hall of fame drop stepper on kobe look at him fighting it up bro we've gotten some good finishes at the rim so far now patrick ewing bro he doesn't have his post score takeovers but right there we're gonna get all the way to the rim he has red protector and glass cleaner i'm not sure maybe you could throw a shoe maybe like a post fade shoe or something like that to give him his uh post takeovers but yeah it was kind of relying on the fact that we were about to get those look at the speed though look at him getting all the way up the court that's going to be a goal 10 18 points now with patrick ewing he's really going off see if we can get a pick and pop right here like look the roll is wide open i think he turned help defense off or something because there we go that's going to be a switch it's not going to be enough space though man you do need a lot of space with patrick ewing so we're going to see once again going to this move there we go we're going to post fade opposite shoulder lightly contested but hey bro it does not even matter we're going to knock that one down and i see patrick you were running up the floor again let's fake the drive maybe and yeah that's going to be a horrible shot but hey bro it's patrick ewing fading away from all the way out there we're going to see if we can play for the last shot of the first half 10 seconds I don't know, bro. The pick and pops, they haven't really been open for us. Like, we need so much space just to get his release off. I don't want to force any bad threes because, obviously, come on. Oh, my God. Why wouldn't the pass register? That's going to be a decent look. Pretty much a three ball right there. That's a really deep shot. You guys can see how long that release is taking. But we do knock it down 34 to 26 at the end of the first half. And, all right. So, now, jumping to the fourth quarter. Final three minutes of the game. This guy, he has made a comeback. Right back in the game. Two-point lead for us. So, we got Patrick Ewing out there to close this thing out. We're probably going to have to play some team ball, though, because this guy's really turned up on defense. He's been playing solid. Quick pump fake right there. He's starting to catch on to our move. So, yeah, bro, I really haven't played my team since my last upload. It's been, it's been, it's been some days. It's been nearly a week. So, we're going to see if we can come out with this dub right here. Come on, man. We're actually going to go to a play right here. Come on. See if we can get this flare rip for Larry Bird. Or actually, yeah, there we go. Come on. Larry Bird. Where, okay, I guess we're just going to run it this way. There we go. Okay, Larry Bird, I don't know where you're going. We're going to pull up for a contested mid-range shot, but you guys already know he's got that in his bag. We're going to knock that one down. I don't know what that play was, but there we go. That's going to be some great defense and a clutch rebound from Patrick Ewing. Let me get a post up right here. There we go. Pick and pop wide open. Just catch the ball, bro. Look at how long it took to catch that thing. And the release already takes so long. Horrible shot right there. His release 
it is tough. It is tough, especially in close games like this when you got him wide open on a pick and pop. Like, he's got to be able to catch that. He is getting some boards for us, though, in this fourth quarter. That's for sure. Here we go. He's going to help off on Larry. We're going to see if we can hit Patrick. Wide open a little bit early on the release. We still knock it down, though. And now a three-point lead on the ball game, bro. That release, I don't know, man. It's tough. It's tough. It does take a long time. He's going to pull up with the mid-range shot right there from James Harden. That's a good shot. So back to just a one-point lead right here. Let's see. We're going to run a play right here. We're going to get this one going for Larry. Come on. Our best shooter on the floor. Kobe literally has him trapped, so he can't move. There we go. Come on. I want to come to the top of the key right here. No moving screens. Wide open. Larry Bird. That's got to be in. That's got to be in. Great execution on that three-point play here. Now we just need to stop, and the game should be ours. No threes at the minimum. Let's go. He's going to go with the moving three ball with Kobe. No way he's hitting that. No way he's hitting that. Patrick Ewing, another rebound on the game. Let's just take the ball up here with him. See if we could spin off Anthony Davis, and he is going to reach in. So let's just ice the game here. A little bit tough shooting stretch right there in the fourth quarter with Patrick Ewing. Bro, it's so crazy. His free throw is so quick, and then his actual jump shot is actually horrible so once again one and two at the line but patrick ewing with 33 points we'll take it and checking out the box score after that sweaty game right there patrick ewing finishing with 35 points eight rebounds also have one assist one steal to go along with it 16 to 29 from the field 0 of 3 from 3 and 3 of 4 at the free throw. Oh, for some reason, I thought we missed two free throws. But, yeah, guys, 3 of 4 at the free throw line. But, yeah, man, you guys can see this card's post work. It is really good. The post fade, post hook animations all really solid. The one thing about this card, if you guys are considering picking them up, is going to be that jump shot. If you guys go to a lot of pick and pops with your center, keep in mind, you guys saw it a number of times. We did have some space with him. But the opposing center had plenty of time to close out on him because of how slow the release is. So, we were able to knock some of them down once again. His post fade, it is really good. The release is nice, but his just normal standing jump shot, that is really, really tough. So keep that in mind if you guys do want to pick up this card for your lineup. But yeah, bro, it's going to be back on this My Team Grind. If you guys are new to the channel, once again, we are on the road to 30,000 subs. So if you guys enjoyed your time here, definitely take a quick second, hit that subscribe button. Definitely do drop a like on this video if you guys did enjoy it. But yeah, man, that's going to be it for this Pink Diamond Patrick Ewing gameplay. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I got different color on my diamonds. I can't even see the time. I don't wanna see your face.